Okay, so today I'm going to answer an email that I received from a viewer here. And I think that this is a question that a lot of people have. I used to have a friend that had the opposite opinion of me. And so I think that this is a good video to make because I think it can help a lot of people. And perhaps there are a lot of people like my friend who I disagreed with and maybe I can change their minds by making this video. So the person's name is Nick. The subject is opinion about changing career at 40. Dear Math Sorcerer, first of all, I would like to thank you for all your videos. They have helped me a lot through the challenge that I am facing. My name is Nick and I am 35 years old, living in Greece, and I have studied agricultural sciences, something that doesn't fill me. Currently, I am working as a customer service agent in a phone company, a job which is okay, but by no means what I want to be doing for the next 20 to 30 years. Whilst I was at school, I didn't harbor any particular love towards math or physics. Later in life, I discovered I am really good at those after some practice. Studying history, another topic that I like, I have analyzed judging by the rapid technological development, space travel, arms industry, etc. There will be, if not already, a demand for scientists and engineers. I would like your opinion on the matter since you are living in a country which is at the center of that technological development. Would it be possible for an engineer who has graduated at his 40s to find a work in that sector? I will be looking forward to your honest answer. Thank you very much. Keep doing what you're doing, helping and inspiring people. First, let me just say thank you, Nick, for this message because I think that there's a lot of people that would say it's too late, right? You're, you're, you're too old, it's too late to get a job as an engineer. And I'm sure there will be comments, and that's okay. If you, if you believe that, leave a comment. If you disagree, leave a comment. People that will say it's too late to change careers, to get a job. I believe it's never too late to do anything, ever. You can look at examples of people who are older and they've tried to find jobs and they can't find jobs. And a lot of times when that happens, those people will say, oh, it's because I'm too old. It, it might be, but I don't think, I don't think that's generally the case. I, I really don't. I think it's about, are you qualified for the job? I know plenty of people, okay, plenty of people who are older, older than myself, and they're able to find really good, high paying jobs in various different fields, okay? so. There is nothing to say that, you know, if you graduate in your 40s, you won't be able to find a job. It really is not a thing. It's all about whether you can, first of all, get a job interview. And second of all, are you qualified for the job and how that interview goes? You know, when you, when you do a job interview, the people who are interviewing you, they know that they might be working with you. They're asking themselves, is this a person we can work with? This is a person who's going to be a valuable member of our team. Are they easy to work with? You know, are they doing a good job? Are they responsive? You know, what, what can they envision from you? And I think that if you are, you know, a good person and good at what you do, I think you can get a job. I think definitely, yes, it's never too late. Never too late. Again, and I'm speaking here simply from personal experience, which I maybe know, well, quite a few people actually who are successful in their fields and they're able to get jobs and they're older, they're older than you, Nick. So I think yes. And I think it's great that you're thinking about making this change. A lot of people would look at your situation and I think they would say, oh, you know, they only want young college grads, you know, these companies, they only want people in their 20s, this and that. And when you go to their websites, like if you go to like the Microsoft website, I'll choose a tech company, Microsoft or Amazon or Google, a lot of times they have special programs for people who are just getting out of college. So if you get your degree, you can participate in those programs, right? Um, because you'll be a fresh graduate, even though you might be in your 40s and a lot of the other students might be younger, you still qualify for those new graduate programs um, where you can find jobs. I've seen a lot of those on various websites. 
So that's what I think. I think it's never too late, Nick. Uh, and again, I'm just speaking here from personal experience. What do you all think? Do you all think it's too late for Nick? Do you have any interesting stories of people who have made career changes? And I don't think it's so much about making a career change. Uh, I mean, you, 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 when you apply for these jobs, they're going to say, you know, what have you been doing, you know, up until now? And you, and you have a good story, right? You've made a career change. You have experience in another field. And I think that a lot of times certain people value that. I, I think that's certainly a good thing. You know, if I was hiring someone to be an engineer, which I'm not, and I saw a person like you who had experience from another field, I kind of would respect that because you have different life experiences and that brings value, right? And that makes you different from other people on the team. So I think everyone has their own unique set of experiences to bring to a job and you'll have that, right? You'll have that, that unique difference. Also with age comes maturity. So, you know, having a diverse group of people of all ages helps. So yeah, I, I think it's definitely a yes. Anyways, random video, just one I wanted to make here because I, I used to have a friend who was older, much older than myself, and he was looking for a job and he had a hard time. He had a couple interviews and he wasn't able to get a job. And he always said it was because he was too old. And I, I just don't think that's true. I don't believe it. I refuse to accept defeat uh, regardless of age and you should also. But yeah, if you have any advice for Nick, leave a comment. Also, if you're not a subscriber to this channel and you feel like you found any value from this content, subscribe if you want to. And if you want to learn mathematics, I actually do have courses. They are on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, which is a reputable place to you know, have courses. But if you buy my courses, please use the links from my website for two reasons. One, it helps me greatly. Two, it helps you greatly because I've lowered the prices to make them as low as possible. So if you use my links, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a low price. Udemy is really weird with the pricing. It's always random, but I, every time I've clicked one of my own links, it, it, it's, it's a low price. So you should get a low price. Oh, and if you are into fitness, I do have another YouTube channel where I do fitness, uh, bodybuilding, health stuff, product reviews, do all kinds of random stuff, but it's mostly fitness. And of course it's called The Fitness Sorcerer. I had a hard time choosing a name, but I figured I should stick with Sorcerer. It's never too old. It's never too late. You're never too old, right? You're never too old to change careers. You're never too old to do something new. If you're watching this video and you take away anything from this video, it, it's that it's never too late. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can be 70 years old. You can make a career change. If you're alive, it's never too late. Keep doing mathematics.